way. Thou art the potter and we're just the clay. Mold us and make us, teach us your will. Have your way, O God, and keep us still. Hallelujah to the King of kings and Lord of lords. How excellent is the name of our Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy are you, Lord, and all creation calls you God. You are great and greatly to be praised. Abba Father, you reign. You reign supreme. You reign sovereign. Hallelujah. 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 What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is our God. Hallelujah. The songwriter says, How great is our God. How great is his name. He is the greatest one forever the same. He rolls back the waters of the mighty Red Sea and he says, I will lead you if you will trust in me. Hallelujah. And so I say precious good morning on behalf of the Wade family, Pastor Marsha Wade, I'm Rowan Wade, saying good morning to all the clergy people in this group, all our family members. Hallelujah. We are one family, family in the kingdom, family by spirit family by nature and character, family by the connection to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, family by connection to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, family by connection through the love of the Lord God who so loved us that he gave his only begotten son. We are family, family in love, family in power, family in self-control, family in all things bright and beautiful because we are all family, all creatures great and small. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Good morning to each and every one of you, my family, those on Facebook, those on Instagram, those on Arrows International Internet Radio. Hallelujah, our newest broadcast partner. And, and, and good morning to those who are watching on YouTube as well. Praise be to the name of the Lord. I pray that God will bless these medium, that they will continue to expand, increase, and enlarge, not to any evil intent or any evil outcome, but that will be will continue to grow as a method through which the gospel of Jesus Christ continues to expand and touch the entire four corners of the universe, the four corners of the world. May Facebook become owned and operated by a born-again believer. May Instagram be owned and operated by a born-again believer. Arrows International is already owned and operated by a born-again believer. And so we give honor to the pastors Campbell this morning. Hallelujah, Pastor Noel and his, his amazing wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise God for all the opportunities that he has opened for us in this season. And so welcome to Prophetic Wednesday. It is a day when we prophesy. It is a day when God's truth tear down Satan's lies. It is a day when we speak over our own lives, over our family, over everything that concerns us, over our health, over our finances. It is a day when we declare and decree and with confidence know that none of our words shall fall to the ground but shall come to pass according to the will and purpose of the almighty god it is a day when we speak over each other ah and we declare god's glory in the lives of his people and so welcome to prophetic wednesday this is the day when we fear nothing but we speak hallelujah as the holy spirit leads ah so that men might be blessed, men might be saved in the name of Jesus. Men might be healed, delivered, set free, and made whole. And so we're going to be prophesying this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to be prophesying over ourselves in our own homes. And so as we get into this time, but first we want to prophesy to the Lord Jesus Christ. We prophesy this morning that the Holy Spirit of God lives in us. We prophesy this morning that the Lord Jesus Christ is Lord and God and Savior and King. The Lord Jesus Christ is Lord over our lives, each and every one of us. We prophesy this morning that Jesus Christ lives and rules and reigns in 
in our nation in our family in every element and aspect of our lives we prophesy this morning that Jesus Christ is strong and mighty and through him we are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds we prophesy this morning that God is good and his mercies endure it forever his truth is hallelujah what prevails in every situation and circumstance of our lives we prophesy that our children shall serve God we prophesy that we live in a nation that is under God and it will increase in beauty fellowship and prosperity and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race we prophesy this morning that where we are is not where we will stay but we will live with Jesus Christ in the upper place in the heavenly realm in the name of Jesus Christ we prophesy that our nation shall not be tormented by Lucifer and his principalities but shall be under the angelic protection and the Holy Spirit's direction we prophesy this morning that every nation that we have set foot on we have owned like Joshua and his men owned Canaan we prophesy that every wall that has stood between us and salvation our family and salvation every wall that has stood between us and prosperity and good success every wall that has stood between us and breakthroughs and break out and break forth every wall that has stood between us and good health hallelujah every wall that has stood between us and righteousness holiness and truth receive the fire of, Jer of, Jer of Jericho this morning in the name of Jesus that fire that tore down Jericho wall we we prophesy this morning that every wall that stands between us ah, hallelujah and the goodness of God receive the Jericho fire the Jericho outcome this morning they shall fall down and be destroyed in the name of Jesus every wall that stands between us and good health prosperity we command them to receive the fire of Jericho this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we declare that every every wall that stands between us and our study of the word our prayer life receive Jericho fire this morning we prophesy that we are more than conquerors this morning every member of this family we are blessed and highly favored we are called to flourish to prosper to be in good health even as our soul prospers we prophesy this morning that every member of this family oh God Almighty will walk in the fullness and the glow of your glory we prophesy that uncommon visitations will be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ we prophesy that we will travel without visas and without passports like Philip did we prophesy that we shall convert entire countries and cities like Paul did we prophesy that the sick that sits at the temple gate or on the street corners will receive your anointing from us and through us like the man at the gate of temple beautiful uh, as Peter did we prophesy that as you touch the hand of the little girl and said telleth a kumai a little girl arise we prophesy that so shall it be with us that the sick and the broke and the busted and disgusted shall be transformed at our very presence we prophesy that demons shall tremble at our very presence like the man that was in the cemetery ah god almighty when you stepped out of the boat and he saw you the legions began to panic we prophesy that so shall it be upon us because the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead the same spirit that the demons feared and trembled lives in us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we prophesy that as of today we are more than conquerors in an uncommon way we prophesy that as of today a double portion of that which was upon Elisha upon Paul upon Peter upon James upon John upon Philip upon Stephen is upon us in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that this day this day uh, a double portion of the greater works that the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to shall be upon us I prophesy that our shadows our very presence our very word our very incense uh, our very perfume shall heal deliver set free and make whole I prophesy that we take control of everything that concerns us and concern our family this morning in the name of Jesus I prophesy that our families shall flourish shall prosper and shall serve the Lord I prophesy 
that our children shall be saved our aunts uncles cousins nieces and nephews moms and dads shall walk in the righteousness holiness and truth of the lord jesus christ i prophesy that satan shall not impact and impart his demonic realms and demonic plans into our family or our extended family in the name of jesus christ i prophesy that everything that the enemy has planted in our lives while we have while we slept while we we were doing things that we shouldn't do every transfer every immoral act and every illegal activity that satan has caused to come upon our lives i prophesy that there is deliverance today i prophesy an uprooting an uprooting uprooting of every contamination every parasite every seed of unrighteousness that lucifer has managed to impart to us i prophesy this morning that the spirit of a living god is uprooting everything that is in us every spirit of lust every spirit of pride every spirit of lust of the eyes every spirit of envy of greed of slothfulness every spirit of rejection and oppression and depression every spirit of suicide every spirit of aches and pains every spirit of unforgiveness i prophesy this morning that everything that has held us back that has bound us chained us or locked us up is being uprooted right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that there shall be no poverty among those who are under the sound of my voice this morning i prophesy that the spirit of poverty is broken arrested and has been put to pasture in the dark dry places in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that the spirit of pride is grabbed by the scruff of the neck and torn out of every member of this family in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that lust and any kind of pornography and sexual immorality shall not prevail among us or our children children or our family members in the name of Jesus I prophesy that we are washed with the blood of Yeshua the Mashiach and therefore we shall be holy as he is holy in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that we are the head and not the tail come on people of God all you got to do is agree and you can prophesy in your space and place as well prophesy about the things that you don't hear me prophesying concerning in your own space prophesy over my life and over my wife's life as well come on we got to prophesy because we are the prophets that God has placed in the earth in this time I prophesy that arrows international radio shall be worldwide it shall touch every nation and shall have many thousands of listeners in every nation I prophesy that every business that is owned by every member of any of this family shall flourish and shall exceed expectations I prophesy that whether it's a small individual business or a business that hires people we shall expand I prophesy expansion I prophesy increase I prophesy that small businesses that that spring up during this month of December to take advantage of the things that are ne are needed in this month they shall flourish that your business shall be the one that they first come to so if you sell chickens if you bake cake if you make uh, postcards or pretty pretty gifts gift sets they shall sell off and exceed expectations in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that the spirit to flourish is upon every member of this family today in the name of jesus i prophesy angelic protection and manifestations in your presence in the name of jesus i prophesy that the word of god is in each and every one of us and it shall come forth to protect to shield to guard and to keep us from harm and danger from sin death and destruction in the name of Jesus I prophesy that our hearts are set towards God and no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus I prophesy that ministries are arising in our bellies right now that there are things that are coming up out of us that will cause us to be bold that will cause us to step into the fullness of what God has purposed for us to walk in I prophesy 
lie that we shall be known not for who we are as a person or our gifts in the natural but we shall be known for the anointing of God upon our lives in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that none of us shall die untimely in the name of Jesus Christ or our family members I prophesy that we shall live and prosper and when our time comes it will be like Paul where we have run the good race and fought the good fight and now awaits us a crown in heaven where we will go only only to worship and no longer to struggle I prophesy that we shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that everyone under the sound of my voice shall not be stung by any serpent or scorpion but we shall tread upon them and take dominion over them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that we shall live to declare the works of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that the Deuteronomy 28 blessings shall be our portion in double in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that even as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death we fear no evil for our God is with us and his rod and staff comforts us. I prophesy that no enemy shall eat the table at the table that was set before us. No enemy shall eat not just at the table but shall eat our food that has been prepared eh, in the presence of our enemies. I prophesy that God will anoint our heads with oil this morning afresh and our cups will run over. I prophesy that healing anointing is moving through right now. Backs are being healed. Shoulders are being healed. Headaches are being being destroyed by fire right now I prophesy to lungs and kidneys and livers and spleens I prophesy to joints and marrow I prophesy against the spirit of lupus hypertension diabetes I prophesy against every sickness and disease in the bodies of God's people I prophesy against every kind of defect to the natural heart and to the soul of men in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy against every hand that has reached into your heart into your into your soul into your body and is trying to destroy veins and, and and organs I prophesy against them and I declare that we are more than conquerors we wear the armor of God and therefore cannot be penetrated by any weapon of the enemy in the name of Jesus I prophesy that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold I prophesy that every dark cloud that is over for any person under the sound of my voice right now it shall be lit up it shall be lit up and many shall see that cloud and be drawn like the wise men were drawn to the star uh, that pulled them to Jesus I prophesy that what the enemy meant for evil has just turned to good now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that there is therefore now no condemnation to any mistake that we have made but there is is now a blessing of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow upon our lives I prophesy that we shall not walk according to our flesh our soul our emotions our mind will oh but we shall walk according to the leading of the Holy Spirit and therefore will always and forever be victorious through Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that the things that Elijah did including the impartation to Elisha shall be our portion in this season in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that the Pentecost experience shall be ours and the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ as a of at Pentecost when the disciples the apostles came down what they did we shall do and even greater works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that none of us shall be oppressed or depressed or fall away from the kingdom of God but we shall press even in dark times we shall press even when we feel like we're on a mountain top alone far from everyone I prophesy that you will always remember that Jesus Christ promised to lead the 99 and to come for you no matter which mountain top you are on I prophesy that you shall never become oppressed because you have confidence in the ability of the Lord Jesus Christ to find you to find your children to find your family to find your business to find your finance to find your health and restore it to life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that there is no wall the enemy can build up that Jesus has not already kicked down I prophesy 
prophesied that there is no lie that can be told about you by Lucifer or any of his agents that God has not already torn down and tore up and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy that we are more than conquerors through him who love us. I prophesy that we are a God able to do the exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask, think, or imagine through Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy, hallelujah, that we are blessed and highly favored and we are called to do great and mighty things. I prophesy the peace of Jerusalem. I prophesy that Israel shall rise again and be known not as a nation that has guns and weapons and nuclear war warheads, not as a nation that is liberal to the point where they have uh, parades of, of, of perversion, but as a nation whose God is the Lord, a nation who's, who, who bows to the Lordship and accepts the Lordship of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, or as known in their tongue, Yeshua the Amashiach of Nazareth. I declare and prophesy over Israel that it shall again be a nation whose God is the Lord. I prophesy to China that their president, their prime, their president shall come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I prophesy that China shall, even as they have impacted the world economically, shall impact the world as a place where missionaries come from shall impact the world as one who will tear down their Buddha statues and raise up the cross. They shall raise up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy that India shall no longer be confused as to who is God, but they shall know that Jesus Christ, the I am that I am, the great I am, the God of all flesh is God. I prophesy that every Asian country, every North, South, East and West country that has any kind of idea of another God. They shall come into full connection like Paul on the Damascus Road. They shall come to recognize that Jesus Christ is Lord and that any other worship, any other direction that they're going in constitutes kicking against the prick. I prophesy that whole nations shall bow and declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. I prophesy that in this season, or oh, like Malta, when Paul landed there in a crash, a, a boat crash, hallelujah, in the storm, I prophesy that whole cities shall be transformed and they shall know that God is real, that he is the one true and living God and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy that there shall be a transformation in your circle in your space and it shall expand day by day i prophesy that no spirit of fear will stop the bubbling up and the eruption of the anointing by the holy spirit that is in everyone under the sound of my voice i prophesy to every lukewarm spirit that has come upon any person that is hearing me now any fear spirit that has said that you can't go you don't know enough you never went to bible school you haven't been in church long enough you're 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 shy or you're not that kind of person that you will work behind the scenes uh, i prophesy to your spirit this morning and i declare a spirit of boldness i declare that the joshua anointing is upon each and every one of us this morning that we will stand strong we will be bold and very courageous in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that every opportunity we get we will demonstrate the spirit spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. On this prophetic Wednesday, I prophesy that we are more than conquerors and we shall defeat the works of the enemy now and always in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy that we shall not die, but declare the works of the Lord Jesus Christ now and always in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy to your marriages that they shall flourish in this season that marriages are restored renewed i prophesy to every husband that is sleeping on the couch or in the other or in the guest bedroom i prophesy that he must return to his bedroom he must return in love that there is the grace the great grace of a gift the gift of the grace of a great marriage is being released into your homes now i prophesy 
that wives that are pining for their husbands that have gone that have left them for whatever reason that have gone to others or have gone to do their own thing i prophesy a restoration of marriages right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy a change of heart to those who have caused uh, have not been able to see themselves and have been doing things that have been causing a, a, a head butting in the house instead of us coming together and a unifying i prophesy to that foul unclean Jezebel spirit and I command that spirit to be uprooted out of the marriages of God's people right now I prophesy to the Ahab spirit that weak spirit that spirit that has watered down the kingship and the, and the priesthood of the man of God in that house I prophesy and uproot right now and I prophesy that the men of God shall be like David shall be like Solomon the good things of Solomon and the good things of David by the the spirit of the living God shall be represented in the grace of the great marriage a hey, this day in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy to those who are single and who desire to be married I don't care what age I prophesy your boas is released in the name of Jesus I prophesy that you shall be ready to do great damage to the kingdom of darkness with your husband and with your wife in this season in the name of Jesus I prophesy that 2022 shall not just be a year when you will be healthy, that you will be immune to every disease, every sickness, and every virus. But I prophesy that it is the year when poverty will no longer be your portion, when singleness will no longer be your portion, when pain and, 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 and separation in your marriage will no longer be your portion, but you will come together and the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow will be your portion today and tomorrow and the rest of your days i prophesy a new beginning i prophesy a new life i prophesy brand spanking new in every area of you in the mighty name of jesus christ i prophesy hallelujah to those who are in the hospitals right now i prophesy health i prophesy restoration for those of you who are crying out to god for the for persons who are in the hospital and they do not know hallelujah what's going on or what is going to happen to them i prophesy to their souls i prophesy to their bodies i prophesy to their joints and marrow i prophesy to everyone that is sick this morning and i command health i command strength by the authority of the lord jesus christ Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. I prophesy to those with asthma. I prophesy to those who are feeling the effects or the after effects of COVID-19 on their lungs and on their blood. I prophesy to every parasite, parasite that is in your bloodstream right now, whether through food or through anything in the air or through anything that you have in, been injected with. I prophesy to every parasite in your blood and I command them to die in the mighty name of Jesus every parasite that the enemy has injected into our systems with the intent that they will slowly but surely cause cancer, cause diabetes, cause arthritis, cause any kind of sickness or disease to take us out. I cancel that assignment. I turn back that plan and I destroy that scheme now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy to Evan Lawrence who won hey God Almighty hey I prophesy to Evan Lawrence's family this morning and I declare that her family shall not be torn apart it shall not be destroyed it shall not crumble like the Jericho wall but shall arise because the Lord shall build it up I prophesy to every member of your family this morning Evan Lawrence and I declare blessings and favor glory and power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come on people of God by faith receive the prophecy into your own family i prophesy that your family that has been fractured will now come together i prophesy that the division that the enemy has put in between fathers and daughters mothers and daughters fathers and sons mothers and sons i prophesy that those walls are torn down now in the name of jesus i prophesy that the king of kings who has the heart of the of, of, of man of the king in their in his hands will turn it towards the hearts of the fathers and the mothers and turn the hearts of the fathers and the mothers towards their children i prophesy that some of some of us this morning 
who have partners who have not been supporting their children i prophesy that it shall change right now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that we shall live to declare the works of the lord jesus christ i prophesy that there shall be no orphans or widows in this time uh, from now until i right until jesus comes i prophesy that us as parents shall live and demonstrate the goodness and the righteousness of god to our children in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that we are truly the head and not the tail we are above and not beneath i prophesy that it is well with our souls i prophesy that we are healthy wealthy strong and ready to do and to be for god's good pleasure i prophesy prophesy that businesses are being started right now by us in the name of Jesus. Businesses have begun to flourish in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Businesses that are in our homes, businesses that have just started, ministries that have just started, ministries that have started long time, businesses that have started long time, some are fledgling and, 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 and trying to get by. I declare, I prophesy the spirit of doing better than well, doing great. I prophesy to your business this morning and I declare that it shall start up and it shall accelerate and it shall go from fast to faster to great from great to greater in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that those of you who are internet savvy and who are, 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 are trading savvy that have been buying bitcoins and all the other coins that are online I prophesy that you shall get your coins shall move from from cheap to expensive to valuable in the mighty name of Jesus you shall become rich overnight in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy your business shall become essential to, to, to hundreds of thousands overnight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that you shall flourish in this season. Your ministry shall be a demonstration of miracles, signs, and wonders. And you shall move from one who was in obscurity to one who is surety as of today in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that everything that has made you sad and downcast and depressed has been lifted off of you today. And you will flourish and glow in the glory as God changes your story in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah 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 to the king of kings and lord of lords how god is great how great is our god how great is his name he is the greatest one forever the same he rolls back the waters from the mighty red sea and he says i will lead you if you will trust in me we trust in you O god and we prophesy that we shall continue to trust in you and live and not die in the name of jesus christ of nazareth come on in your own space in your own time and in your own way give God some praise for God has, a, has, has allowed us to prophesy this morning and what we have prophesied will not fall to the ground but will come to pass in this season and in the seasons to come come on give God some glory show him that you believe what has been said what has been declared what has been established in the atmosphere in the realm of the spirit and in the natural show God that you are ready to accept to receive come on husband are being released wives are being released businesses are being released come on ministries are being released impartation of the holy spirit through the baptism hallelujah a fire and the evidence of tongues are being released right now in the mighty name of jesus christ a fresh wind is blowing through your space and place right now some of you will begin to feel a cool breeze upon your face come on <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that a chill you shall begin to feel like the, the, the like angels just touched you and the anointing of God has fallen upon you because oil is being poured on each and every one of you right now. Your sicknesses and diseases are being healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah glory be to the name of the lord jesus christ who was and is and is to come i am saying to you this morning that hundreds of angels have been dispatched 
two and three and four at a time to every house to every space to every place those who are at work those who are in their cars those who are at the gym those who are walking or jogging those who are sitting in their beds or around their dining table wherever you are those who are in their prayer closet and as you as long as you are hearing my voice right now I prophesy I decree I declare I stand on the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and I declare that you are blessed right now the presence of God is with you and oil is being poured upon you every spotted garment that was upon your life regardless of what that situation was or how long you have been carrying it that garment is being pulled over your head and thrown into the garbage right now the spiritual garbage is receiving your old garment and a new garment a fresh robe is being placed upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth your life is being transformed right now some of you are feeling the goose pimples hallelujah because the angels are around you touching you changing you even your very hairstyle is being adjusted right now come on glory to God in the highest what a mighty God we serve God is doing an awesome work for us and through us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that none of us shall miss hallelujah what is happening to us in the name of Jesus we shall not be at the wharf when God is at the airport hallelujah we shall not be in another state when God is in another we shall be in the right place at the right time and in the right season to receive from God we have been made vessels of honor this morning hallelujah we have been made righteous seeds this morning in a new way we have been made sons in whom our God is well pleased this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth well not just this morning because in Australia it's evening now hallelujah in England is 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 way up in the day and so whether it's morning noon or night hallelujah our God will still get it right so don't get up tight in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah <coughs> <clears throat> hallelujah 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 praise God praise God praise God hallelujah remember guys we don't have to wait on any prophet to prophesy to us we are the prophets over our own lives the same spirit that is in the prophet that is in the office we have that same Holy Spirit in us therefore we must begin to prophesy over our own situations and circumstances we must begin to prophesy over our own health and wealth and prosperity and good success we must begin to prophesy over our own children our own marriages our own relationships our own families we must prophesy over our own communities and over our own nations and we must practice to prophesy day after day after day because it is in faithfulness that our true faith is demonstrated is some one hearing me this morning and so come on Evan Lawrence God wants you to prophesy over your family God wants you to speak that which is not as though it were the things that are causing disruption in your family causing hurt causing pain causing uncertainty God wants you as you learn in this environment to begin to speak with confidence over your situations and circumstances Come on, God wants you to have and to be imparted into even now the Abrahamic faith that even when God tells you to do something that seems difficult, that seems like there is no coming back from it, like God said to Abraham, go sacrifice Isaac on the mountain. There was no coming back from that sacrifice because Abraham had never seen a goat or a, or a bullock that was sacrificed come back to life, but he was confident that nothing is impossible for God. So that which he had never seen before he was confident that though he had not seen it God can still do it oh hallelujah and so Evan Lawrence I speak to you this morning and I say to you God wants you to begin to prophesy in your own space and in your own place God wants you to speak to the issues that you're seeing in your house God is allowing what is happening in your family so that you can become the, the, the author and finisher and demonstrator of faith to your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and God is speaking to all those 
who are listening on Arrows Radio in Jamaica, in Finland, in UK, in Canada. Hallelujah. And he's calling those who are on the platform as well in Finland. Hallelujah. And in all, all parts of Asia, he's calling you all to begin to prophesy. Come on. God is saying, why do I give you a tongue to speak that which is not as though it were? Why have I given you my spirit to prophesy thus saith the Lord with accuracy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and so come on people of God you got to become confident in who God is stop depending on your pastor to prophesy to you stop depending on the prophets the apostles the preacher the teacher the evangelist to prophesy to you you got to prophesy firstly to yourself and to your family in order to truly see hallelujah that other prophets should only come in agreement with what you have prophesied what they are saying you should not be hearing for the first time and even if you do hear something for the first time it must be an add-on to what you already have been prophesying not brand new in the name of Jesus I prophesy that this heat in my space now will go in the name of Jesus Christ this heat that I am feeling in this atmosphere will go because there will be breeze there will be a wind from a fan that will come to me and cool me down in the mighty name of Jesus as I prophesy so let it be so let it be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy hallelujah that there shall be a shift in the atmosphere of every person that is listening on Arrows Radio this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth and have an amazing time in prophesying over your life and over that which concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Are you convinced that you are the prophets over your own lives now? Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. All right. And so we just pray that the Lord himself will do a mighty work this morning. Hallelujah. To keep me cool. Amen. Praise God. We know nothing is impossible for our God. He is awesome in this place and he is worthy of all praise. Okay. So we're going to get into some word at the moment and we're still in Psalm 8 where we started yesterday because we have not finished exegesing this scripture to see what God is saying to us in this season. Remember December for the Arrows family who did not know, I am saying to you that God has designated this month of December as the month to flourish. Flourish increase, flourish times two, flourish on steroids, flourish at another level, flourish like Elisha to Elijah, double portion, flourish, because we started out the year in January of 2021 with the, with the, with the, um, the mandate to flourish, and we have ended up at the end of the year with flourish again, so we start with flourish and we end with flourish, because God has nourished us and kept us alive throughout the year, and so this day, I declare that the spirit to flourish is upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, why does God want us to flourish? Why does God want us to walk in the fullness of the anointing from his Holy Spirit? We have to understand that. And that started out in Genesis. Genesis 1. Come on. We read it. Hallelujah. Yesterday. Oh, praise God from whom all blessings flow. We, 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 we saw in Genesis 1 verse 27 where the Bible says, so God created man in his own image. He created man to be awesome. He created man to be like him. He created man to declare and to decree. That's why I'm trying to convince each person under the sound of my voice that the God who created us created us to speak things that be not as though they were. When he, God, said, let there be light and let the firmament, come on, hallelujah, let the earth come up out of the water, let the fowls of the air begins to fly, let the things that walk 
walk, creep, crawl. I mean, every insect, even some that you and I question, God, why we needed those? Why you had to create those? Why you created roach? Why you created uh, mosquitoes? God, whoa, what happened, God? But everything was created precisely with a purpose. And God is saying, I have created you, each of you. And I'm speaking to each individual now. Hear me as if you are the only person I'm speaking to. I am saying to you, God created you in his image and likeness in the same way he created me. Therefore, we have power to call forth as God called forth. That's what God-likeness is about. So when we are crying out and saying, God, I need your help to change things in my family. God is saying, but I am in you. You don't have to call on me. Be me. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. But the reason why so many of us as children of God, hallelujah, have to be calling on God for help is because what is required to be God-like in our process and our principle and our purpose, we we fail or sometimes are ignorant too and is not able to embrace. Come on. So things like circumcision of the heart, circumcision that allows us to be humble, to honor, to cherish, come on, to respect, to obey, to walk in the fullness of. When those things escape us, it is hard for us to be godlike. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we try to be godlike with a corrupt, uncircumcised heart, we end up doing some things like we have seen in the media or heard or seen for ourselves that comes from the person who is doing it. A person who is supposed to have the character and nature of God is not supposed to be abusing and confusing and even refusing God's people. Are you hearing me? Or any people at all. A person after the heart of God who walks in God-like status must be a representation of the image and likeness, the character and nature of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Amashiach. And so if every day my wife and I are in arguments, we can't see eye to eye and nothing, we disagree, we fight, we quarrel, we argue, then Jesus Christ of Nazareth by his Holy Spirit is not dominant in our house. We need circumcision. We need fasting and prayer. And I'm not talking about 5, 10, 3, 6, 8 days. I'm talking about 21 to 40 days that flesh may die that the Spirit of God may live. Jesus got into no arguments with anyone. He got into no back and forth and no fight. The very Bible tells us that we should not confront a fool in his folly. Don't argue with a fool in his folly. Once someone is demonstrating satanic principles of anger and, 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 and frustration and annoyance and getting all loud and boisterous, we must demonstrate the character and nature of Jesus before Pilate or before Herod. Silent and say nothing. If two demons are in the same space wrestling, then where will the anointing come from? Where will the demonstration of Jesus' character and nature come from? But it requires a circumcised heart. It requires one who loves Jesus enough to give up their pride, to give up their fleshly desires, to give up their right. Jesus stood before Pontius Pilate, before Herod, and he said nothing. They accused him, they lied on him, they, 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 they threatened him, they tried to, 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 to stimulate or instigate him, but he said nothing. At one point he made them know, it is not because I'm a fool, it is not because I'm fearful, it is not because I, I, I think that you are greater than me, because if I wanted I could call 12 legions of angels, come on somebody, somebody, you need to be in a position where you are able to tell somebody about their parts, but choose not to, because it is the God way. Mm, hallelujah, hallelujah. You need to be in a position where you are right. But you choose to submit to what God wants and say, Lord, I will let you fight my battle. Because your word says the battle is not mine. It is yours. Come on. Your co-worker, your business partner is doing nefarious things. 
stealing from the business, trying to get you fired, taking your clients, doing all kinds of things that are not good to you. But you can still, even though you are right, you can still humble yourself and say, Lord, I submit to you. I'm available to, to bring any lesson that you want. My partner, my children, my boss, my co-workers, my workers to see. I will be the vessel through which this message is brought to them. Even at the expense of my own pride, at the expense of my own integrity, at the expense of my own character and nature. I will give it all up for you. The songwriter says, Lord, I'm available to you. My storehouse is empty and I am available to you. Are you available to the Lord Jesus Christ? Are we available to be filled with what God wants to fill us with by his spirit? Are we available? Every day we must say, Lord, make us available. Circumcise our hearts. Take out everything that is corrupting, everything that is frustrating and anger, everything that causes us not to be like you. Dig it out, Lord. Use a jackhammer if necessary. Use explosives if necessary. Use fire. Use the sword of the spirit. Whatever you need to use, God, but cut out, clean out that we might be like the vessels that the woman in 2 Kings 4 brought. Oh God, may we be like the empty vessels that are before you, that will never run out, that you can pour oil into. And so I say to you this morning, when we ask the question, when David asks the question on our behalf, who are we that God Almighty is mindful of us? Who are we in the midst of our disgusting behavior? Who are we that the great I am is mindful of us? He is mindful of us. Why? Because of what he covenanted in Genesis 1 when he says, I have made you in my image and likeness. He says, in God's image created he us, male and female. There are some people in the world who shall remain nameless this morning who thinks that it is only male that God created in his image only male must have a voice only males must speak thus saith the Lord only males must call forth that which is not as though it were well I am here to tell you that what I see in this word of God so maybe it's the wrong translation maybe in my Bible they added something that wasn't there maybe a female rewrote this Bible and added female to this but I can only go off what I am seeing here in the Bible and it says so God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female he created them I'm gonna ask Pastor Marsha just for the sake of confirmation because there's some things that needs to be broken off some females that are in some ministries, some prisons that you have been locked in, but God is mindful of you. Some prisons that you have been locked in that says that you can't speak, that you have no authority, you have no voice. And so Pastor Marsha, I'm asking you right now, look up in the King James Version, look up in the other versions that exist the old the, the regular king james not new king james regular king james genesis so one yeah genesis 1 verse 27 and see what it says because some freedom is coming to some women this morning some oh, queens yeah. that needs to be queens some queens that need to take the throne not like queen elizabeth but like queen esther not oh, like queen yeah. elizabeth but like deborah not like queen elizabeth but like ruth not like queen elizabeth but like hannah Rapoku. Hey. Not like Queen Elizabeth, but like Mary. Come on, there are some women that needs to take their place on the throne this morning. There are some women that needs to know that they are not in a back room, but they're sitting beside their king. There are some women that needs to know this morning that you're not into poverty, lack, or insufficiency, but as a queen, you should be wearing bling. You should have on a married ring. You should be able to do the thing. Come on, some 
somebody you got to hear me this morning uh, because God is setting you free uh, he created them oh God almighty male and female in his image uh, therefore there is a God in you that is the only wise God woman of God uh, hear me carefully you are able to speak thus saith the Lord with accuracy in the name of Jesus Christ let no man put you in no corner when I was younger I watched a movie called Dirty Dancing and the, the, the star hallelujah the father of uh, the, 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 the girl that he liked her father would always push her in a corner keep her out of everybody's way thinking that he was protecting her and he would disrespect her and keep her in a corner and the guy walked up and he says nobody puts baby in a corner Mackery, Patrick, Patrick Swayze see my wife younger than me so she remember with detail come on even in the things that we see in the world that some of us despise there is a lesson in who God called us to be there is a a lesson to be learned from what men do even in the world come on hallelujah Glo the glory to God okay so I see different translations here the American Standard Version says hallelujah and God created come on Genesis 1 27 look in your own Bible as well to see if you see something different from me hallelujah and God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him why you think he had to say that twice in two different ways and God created man in his own image was there need to be any explanation of that hallelujah but then he went on to say in the image of God created he he created he him male and female created he them them more than one so that's the American Standard Version hallelujah Jesus Jesus what is this CEB Hallelujah. Common English Bible. The Common English Bible says, God created humanity in God's own image. In the divine image, God created them, male and female. Hey, women, you are created in the image of God. Any demon or devil that tried to tell you otherwise from you were a little girl, anyone that tries to curtail you or put you like baby in a corner, this morning I grab you like Patrick Swayze, out from behind your father, out from behind your pastor, out from behind the devil, out from behind the principalities. I grab you this morning by your dress and I pull you to the front and I declare, thus saith the Lord, you are created in the image and likeness of God I pull you out from behind your husband who has been hiding you and destroying your character and nature and self-esteem I pull you out from behind and I say you're not supposed to be behind you're supposed to be beside come on glory to God hallelujah hallelujah the complete Jewish Bible okay the complete Jewish Bible now that's an important one because the translation for them is where it came from in the initial stage and the translation the the, the, the complete Jewish Bible says so God created humankind humankind see it their translation go from just man to humankind that means you cannot miss it whether you're short or tall whether you're um what they call it the dwarf or or i don't know the, the, the uh, not remembering the correct terms i don't mean to know it disrespect whether you're born uh, with any kind of deformity like the pastor who preaches but he has no arms and no legs come on it matters not once you're a member of humankind god says he has created you in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female basically we can be convinced right now that every version of the Bible Genesis 1 27 tells us that we have been created in God's image male and female amen praise God and so the only time there is a problem is when we are not behaving in the manner that facilitates what God desires to come forth from us. Women, hear me. The only time you're supposed to not have a voice from the image and likeness of God is when you are not displaying the image and likeness of God. Hear me carefully. You do not have a voice to speak into righteousness, holiness, and truth when righteousness, holiness, and truth is not coming from your life. And the same for men. And the same for men. Now, this might be controversial beyond controversy. 
but I will not choose choice now. I will not choose to go or to sit and listen to a man of God or a woman of God preach the gospel of righteousness, holiness, and truth if I know that consistently and persistently their life is not representative of the image and likeness of God. That's my choice. I choose that on the basis of this word. If God has created us in his image and likeness and we have come in agreement and say, I want to walk in what God says I am to walk in. Come on, we can go to Joshua chapter 1. If you go to Joshua chapter 1, long after, years and years and years, hundreds of years after Adam and Eve came to life in the image and likeness of God and a whole host of generations of people died Joshua came forth and God basically told him the same thing. He says, meditate upon my word because my word, come on, I'm paraphrasing now, I'm preaching in between the words. So don't think I'm rewriting the Bible. So as God was telling Joshua that Moses, his servant is dead and you are now to take over, he was saying to him, be encouraged, be bold, be courageous. Why? Because I am in you. You are created in my image and likeness. Don't be so in awe of Moses that you become a flaw. Come on. Hallelujah. Be bold and courageous. Be very courageous. And how can you do that? By meditating upon the word day and night. But not just to meditate upon it, to know it as, 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 as information. But the Bible also tells you that God told Joshua to be faithful, to do what the word says. In other words, to live according to the word. Because it is as you live according to the word that you will prosper and have good success. So tell me now, people. And I understand some theologi some theologians and some and some 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 grace people and some honor people that will try to preach that even if the man is living a nasty, dirty, unforgiving life, even if the woman is 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 operating in all kinds of witchcraft, as long as she's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, I must go and listen to her. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Now there is a difference, hear me, let me clear it up so that there is no dissension among the camp. Let me clear it up. God can use someone who is in the throes of sin, in the throes of adultery, fornication, lying, stealing, even from God himself, a steal from the offering plate. God can use that person to call me up and say, Pastor Wade, Rowan Wade, man of God, God says to tell your ex, and I will listen to that. I will listen and test it in my spirit if it is truly a word from God. I will not reject the person and say, no, you're stealing from the church, therefore you can't prophesy to me. Because God used a donkey in a moment that was necessary to prophesy. God may have been trying to tell Pastor Marsha to tell me what he wants to tell me, and she wants to sleep, she's tired, and I need to hear it before morning. And so he will use a donkey to prophesy to me. I will listen under those circumstances. But I will not get up, dress, put on my clothes and go directly to a man of God or a woman of God's ministry, church, whatever you want to call it, that I know is consistently, not a one fall. Come on. We sometimes get caught up in a mistake and judge people and cut them off, write them off and don't want to have anything to do with them as a result of that. That's not what I'm talking about either. But I will not go hear someone preach righteousness when they are not living righteousness. Amen? So I, I hope that there is clarity in that position that I have. You don't have to be like me. You don't have to follow me. But I will follow Christ. And Christ says, be he holy, for I am holy. Righteousness, holiness. In, 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 in Colossians 3 that we read yesterday, it talked about all the things that should not be in our lives. Anger, malice. Come on. Come on. And so if those things are being manifested in our lives, the image and likeness of God that should come to the fore is not coming to the fore. And therefore, what is coming out of you, what is pouring out, is not from the image and likeness of God. And if you're not speaking from the image and likeness of God, I don't want to hear it preached. Amen? Because we must not be hypocrites. 
God is faithful and what he says he means, what he says he lives, what he says he does. Hallelujah. Colossians 3, let me just read that for you again. Hallelujah. Colossians 3 verse 5 to 9 says, put to death. Guys, I, I know sometimes what I say sound a little, uh, it make our pastor Marsha put her toe in the concrete and say, mm -mm. Lord, my husband I'm going to get some cussing this morning. But it is truth. It is truth from the word. It is truth. And sometimes we must hear truth that makes us a little uncomfortable because it is part of the circumcision process. Amen? And it is always in the word. If you check, you'll find that what I'm saying, though it might grate you, though it might rob you, though it might be like a, a file against the machete, it is still for our benefit. It is still part of what God wants to do in us that he might do greater works through us. Amen. Hallelujah. So Colossians 3 verse 5 to 9. Come on, you can read it for yourself. Every version says the same thing in principle. It says, we, the children of God, must put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature. Whatever belongs to our earthly nature, we who are created in the image and likeness of God cannot be living in our earthly nature. We must be living in our godly nature. Hallelujah. Refute that if you want to, but I'm telling you that's the way we will prosper and have good success when we're living in our heavenly nature. Hallelujah. So he's saying that we must, Paul was writing to the Colossians and he was saying we must put to death Death, it means dead cannot come back. All of these things of our earthly nature. And he lists some things. Sexual immorality. For some of you who are, who are, who are, who are compromising on sexual immorality rather than casting out that devil. Rather than standing up and saying that's wrong. You should not be doing that. You cannot say that you're a child of God and be doing that. I curse that spirit and I cancel that spirit of sexual immorality off of you, my son, my daughter. Your husband coming home at 3 o'clock every morning, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, hours of night and you don't know where he's coming from. You need to curse that spirit, cut off that spirit off of him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because we must put to death. All our earthly nature, sexual immorality, everything that is impure. Come on. Everything that does not come from the Spirit of God is impure. So we must cut it off and put it to death. Bury it once and for all where it cannot resurrect. Lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. See it? So you thought that that was my wrath? It was not my wrath. It was the wrath of God. He says the wrath of God is coming when we embrace these things. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. I used to walk in these ways. You name it, every one of them. Every one of these earthly natures. I, Rowan Eastern Wade, used to walk in. And then some. Come on. Hallelujah. In order to facilitate sexual immorality, I used to lie. Never used to steal much. I don't even remember stealing. Stealing was not my thing. But I used to lie. I used to tell women some things that made them think that I was going to be their husband. Because I wanted to be only husband for a moment. I want to get the benefits of a husband for a moment. So I used to lie. So when Paul says that these were once our earthly nature, but we must put them to death now. If I am still walking in that nature, that earthly nature, then how can I be preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ? Oh, hallelujah. I just set the cat among the pigeons. I just tie some foxes by their tail, set them on fire and release them in the cane field of the people. We cannot be living like that because out of out the abundance of our heart, our mouth will speak. And so when our mouth is trying to say Jesus Christ is Lord, we're really saying Satan is Lord because our soul is contaminated by Satan and we will speak out of our soul. And so the spirit of the devil will go on the word, even on the word of God that we're speaking in the light, that we're preaching to the people. That spirit will still attack them. And so if your pastor, if your elder, if your deacon, if your ushers, 
are into sexual immorality and they even serve you communion when you touch the cup the communion itself may not be contaminated the body of christ itself may not be contaminated but when you touch that cup that they touch i guarantee you that what they are carrying could easily get on you too especially if you are struggling with some stuff if you are rooted and grounded in the image and likeness of God and you are protected by fire and you are covered and you are always cutting and clearing and casting out and repenting and circumcising, then you're good to go. Even if Satan himself touch you, you're steady, rooted and grounded. Come on. But if you are struggling with anything, if you are fighting and there's an open door that you're trying to close, but it's not closed yet, and someone who is in the same kind of immorality or any kind of immorality comes and links with you, that open tunnel becomes an open tunnel into you as well. And therefore, you must cease and come out from among them if they refuse to change. But don't just condemn them. Pray for them. Amen. Praise God. So while I will not go and listen to some people preach, I will still pray for them. I will still pray that God will visit them. I will still pray that God will turn them around. Amen. And when they stop doing these things, when they stop being evil, he says, but now, verse 8, but now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these. Anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Hallelujah. Nine, do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices. Amen. So the Bible is very clear about the things that we should fast from or should I say put to death. Why do we fast? To put what to death? Our flesh. Amen. Glory to God. And so these are the things of our natural flesh, our natural self. And God wants us to put them to death so that Genesis 1, 27 can become our portion. But not only that, that's just the knowing who we are in God. What are we supposed to know that for? Hallelujah. It says, uh, uh, who is man that you are mindful of us? We, God is mindful of those who are created in his image and likeness. Mindful of those who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, verse 5 says, You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. God has made us to walk in glory and honor, not in shame and disgrace. Are you hearing me, somebody? God has made us, male and female, to walk in glory and honor. But the only way that will happen, I am telling you the truth from the spirit of the living God. The only way that will happen is if we choose to honor Colossians 3. If we choose to honor these things in Colossians 3 that represented our earthly nature. If we choose to put them to death, then we will walk in the fullness of God's glory and honor. So God is mindful of us, has given us his spirit, has created us in his image so that we can walk in the fullness of him. Why? So that we can take dominion over everything that he has created for his glory in us and through us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. I want to just quickly tell you um, the word glory. Hallelujah. The word glory in the Hebrew uh, in, the, in the Hebrew means kabod, kabod, kabod. That's how it's pronounced. And it means weight. Hallelujah. Figuratively, in a good sense. Weight in a good sense. The weight of God's glory. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the weight of your kingdom fall. Let the light of your spirit cover us. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory. Let the weight of your glory fall. Hallelujah. 
And so the weight of his glory also means splendor and honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The weight of his glory. The weight of his glory. His glory came down on Mount Sinai. The weight of his glory came down in the tent of meeting. The weight of his glory was as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. We need to see the weight and feel the weight of God's glory in this season. And the weight of his glory does not come down on those who are walking in the, in the weakness of the natural self. And so that's why we must put these things to death, that we might be empty of everything that would stop the weight of God's glory from filling us up. Oh my God, somebody should say hallelujah for that. Somebody should say, thank you, Jesus. Deliver me, oh God, from everything that stops the weight of your glory from being upon me, in me, and through me, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory also means splendor and magnificence. When the glory, when the weight of the glory of God is upon us and in us, we do splendiferous things. Come on, hallelujah. Can I create a word? We do splendid things, splendiferous things, magnificent things, super magnanimous things. Hallelujah. But the weight of God's glory must fill us up like a container filled with the oil of the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He also says that we will not only have glory, but honor. And the Hebrew word for honor is kavod. Kavod. Hallelujah. Hey, that means when you're walking in honor, your kavod means your bod. Hallelujah. In a God terms. Come on, not like bad boy that needs to go to jail or be brought before the court. But we kavod. That means we're bod. Because we're walking splendor and in glory and honor and power. Hey, Jesus. And kavod there means respect. Wherever we go, we give and receive respect. Hallelujah. Some of us want to get respect, but we don't want to give it. Praise God. But if we're walking in the image and likeness of God, we give respect even when we don't get it. And in giving respect out of God's obe out of obedience to God, respect will come to us if it's even only from God. And if God respects you, I can guarantee you, you are well respected. Amen. And so that's respect. It also means glory of the Lord. So when we honor, we demonstrate the glory of the Lord. Come on, I'm wrapping up now. I'm wrapping up now. I'm almost out of time. The King James Dictionary calls it the esteem due to our, our, our paid to word. The esteem due or paid to word. What is word? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word and the word is God. Amen. And so the God that is in each person deserves to be respected, to be honored. The God that is in each person deserves to be respected and honored. And so even as we mention respect and honor, we respect and honor those who are listening in Aruba. Come on, hallelujah. We're glad that you weren't out having a scuba hey come on <laughs> praise god for those in aruba we bless god for you and we declare god's honor and god's glory upon you his shekinah glory will envelop aruba this day in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i speak to the prime minister or premier or whatever the, the, the um the leader of aruba is called your government ministers i declare righteousness holiness and truth over them right now in the mighty name of jesus i declare that they shall flourish they shall act rightly they shall act as those who are created in the image and likeness of god they shall act in the best interest of aruba they shall make right laws and not do things that will destroy the mindset or the confidence of god's people that they will deserve honor because they themselves give honor in the name of jesus i bless the nation of aruba this morning in jesus name amen and so we continue quickly uh, it says to honor means to hold in high esteem, to respect, to exalt, or to rank, hallelujah, or to place high, uh, di distinct, distinction, of high distinction. When you go to university, you try to get distinctions, hallelujah, which is the highest grade, and also the word dignity, dignity, which also comes from the word dignitary. You have to be dignified, walk in dignity you have to have a life of dignity to be dignified 
and therefore be seen with distinction or treated with distinction so you ever notice when uh, certain apostles come into certain room they and, and prophets come into certain room they're treated with like dignitaries with distinction they are ushered to the front they're brought water or drink or whatever it is that they need they're given special seats because they are dignitaries come on but if we are created in the image and likeness of God oh I feel like this preachment is still rushing but we know we're out of time when 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 we're created in the image and likeness of God we are automatically from day one dignitaries come on and we're supposed to be walking in distinction and we're supposed to be treated like dignitaries hallelujah but our behavior our thoughts our words our actions put on hold our dignitary status when we are acting in flesh we can't be dignitaries when our natural nature and character is what is leading us we can't be treated like dignitaries because our flesh will always fail sin will always prevail and we will be in Satan's jail but when we act like the head and not the tail God's love God's dignitary God's image God's honor God's glory will prevail in Jesus name hallelujah 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 we're gonna leave it there for today and pick up again tomorrow morning I hope that you are blessed I hope that you were blessed and I hope that this word has hit your spirit and you are beginning to now focus on how you can become a dignitary by honoring come on by receiving God's glory by walking in God's glory so that you can tell his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you this morning for your blessings and honor and glory and power. We thank you this morning for every nation and tongue that is listening to us, O God Almighty, on Aras Radio, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. We thank you for the people who are listening from Jamaica, from Finland, from the USA, from UK, from Canada, from Aruba, oh God Almighty, and even, hallelujah, from other parts of the world that have not yet been connected or to, 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 uh, to understand that this is the place that you have anointed to reach them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that it is well. It is well. It is well. Hallelujah. Let us, time for communion. Please, I hope you have your communion. Arrows family, I hope you have your communion. We do communion every day because it is a replica of the covenant that God has made with us and we with him. Once you become a believer in Christ Jesus, you as often as you eat of his body and drink of his blood, it's like as often as a married husband and wife kiss and say, I love you. If you only kiss or say, I love you once every six months or once a month, then you're not really married. You're just partners who are having a good time. Amen. Praise God. Come on, Rowan. Easy, easy, easy. Glory to God. But we will not treat Jesus as how we treat each other. And as we learn to treat Jesus every day with honor and reverence and glory and respect, then it will manifest to those who are in our space and around. Love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now that they might truly be a representation of your body and your blood in us and through us. In the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you this morning, O God, that it is well with our souls. It is well in our hearts and it is well hallelujah by your grace and mercy father we ask that you will search us now search our thoughts our words and our actions see if there be anything that creates an open portal for the enemy to come in for you lord jesus said when the enemy comes he finds nothing in me lord may when the enemy comes to check to test us to try us he finds nothing in us that connects to him because your body and your blood has already taken the space, every space in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup 
he took a, he blessed it and took a sup and he said drink this is my blood the blood of the new covenant as often as you drink of it you do it in remembrance of me as you drink my body my, as you eat my body and drink my blood says the lord you do it in remembrance of my death burial and resurrection until i come drink ye all of it in faith in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah hallelujah what a mighty god we serve angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty god we serve father we thank you for this morning we thank you for your blessings and your favor we thank you for your good hand upon us we thank you god almighty hallelujah that the the, the evan 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 lawrence's family and every other family on this platform and all the other platforms are blessed and highly favored we thank you for the move of your spirit in families this morning and we thank you lord that families are being restored renewed and hallelujah revealed that you are revealing yourself to families this morning that families will once again become the foundation the structure of society in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah oh father god we pray for your peace to be upon our sister angela hamilton this morning who just heard that her nephew has died oh great and sovereign god we pray that you will touch her nephew's relatives mother and father if they are still alive aunts uncles cousins nieces and nephews every member of the bloodline that is connected to this young man i pray god that your peace that passeth all understanding will prevail over their homes over their lives i pray god almighty that whatever the circumstance of this young man's death that no spirit of revenge or unforgiveness or bitterness or anger will rise up in those that are living and that even though he seems to have been a young man that they will oh god honor his memory and be according to your will and celebrate his life i pray that the pain will not overtake any member of this family but the joy of your salvation will prevail in the name of the lord jesus christ angela hamilton we speak god's peace to you my sister we love you and we declare that it is well god knew that this would happen that this would come and we pray that his soul will rest in peace i pray that before his last breath left his body he was able to cry out jesus thou son of david have mercy on me in the name of jesus christ father i pray your blessings upon your people this morning may your will and your will only be done in and through every life that is on here today and every life that is represented in this meeting on this altar in the name of jesus christ and now may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace go forth and have an amazing day god's way for our god has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way in jesus name remember guys jesus love you and we love the whole owner too god bless you god bless you hallelujah blessings to the facebook family uh fourth watch blessings to the instagram fourth watch family blessings and honor glory and power to the arrows international radio family spread out all over the world may you join us again tomorrow same time same place for the glory and honor of our savior and king jesus christ of nazareth yeshua the amashiach of nazareth he is god all by himself go forth today do something good for someone remember in the image and likeness of god we must do what the image and likeness of god represents in the word and that means edify exhort comfort bless give to the poor help others feed the, 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 the hungry visit those in prison heal the sick cast out devils whatever it is that you feel that you can do to make a contribution to society do it without hesitation do it not as a recitation but that the goodness of god that comes from his image and likeness in us will be a manifestation in jesus name hallelujah bless you have a good one guys love you all
Bye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.